Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and today I have a quick Divi Pro tip and I'm going to show you how to move the menu, sub menu, the drop down menu to the center. So by default it kind of goes off to the side but I'm going to show you how to center that and we're going to do that with both the menu module and the default Divi header. Alright, let's get started. All right, so I think this is my 21st Divi menu tutorial. In the past couple of months, I've been releasing two tutorials every week, and that's been crazy. So anyway, this one, I've been doing a lot on the Divi menu module, okay? But a lot of times what I'm finding out is like, I'm, I'm so used to using the menu module and the theme builder, but some people are not yet. And I urge people to transition to that because the customizer is going to go away. But, um, a lot of times what I'm finding is people are still asking for like, well, how do I do this with the regular menu? So you'll be happy to know that I'm going to cover both in this one. So first of all, how do we center the sub menu? Well, if you're over here on our blog, which we have that in the link in the description down below, if you're watching this on YouTube, go over there and it's, this is going to be really simple. This is going to be quick and easy. So just grab this snippet that we have over there. It's the first one. And, and again, distinguish between the menu module or the default menu all right so for the menu module we'll start with that one copy that now i have a live example here so right here i have a menu set up and i have a sub menu um in fact i should show you how that looks before i paste this code okay so here it is by default um this is just how it, how i have it set up you see how it always goes over to the right should have added some more here, but one's okay. So, you know, it's just, it's left aligned. Um, the item, the whole sub menu goes to the right. And we want to move that left so that it's centered. All right, so I'm going to go into the menu. Go into the menu settings, click on the gear icon, go up here to the advanced tab. So again, I'm in the menu module, advanced tab, custom CSS, open that toggle. Now here you have before, main element, after, menu link, active menu link. We want this drop down menu container. So paste it in there to the drop down menu container. And let's go hover over here. I think it'll show up. There you go. You can see how it's moved over. In fact, I'll just undo it there quick. See how it's over here where it normally is. And then there you go. I'm moving it over to the center. All right, let's leave that there. I'm going to show you the other one, and then I'm going to come back and show you that you should combine this with some of our other tutorials to add some really cool stuff. Okay, so first of all, let's go do the regular one. So this one we, we need to put at a different place. So copy that first, go over here. I'm going to do it for this up here. So you can see it's, it's again centered to the left. I'm going to go into the page settings, advanced tab, custom CSS, and paste it in there. All right, now let's go see how that looks. See how it's moved over. All right, so that's it. But most likely, you want to combine this with some of our other ones. So for example, I have them linked here in the tutorial. Add a point on top, like, like in here. So let's go over to that one. Add a point on top. That's a really good idea. It just kind of goes right along with what we just did. So let's copy that. We have a full video on this, and you can check that out. But right now I am going to go in here and also add this to the page settings. The only time we added it to the actual menu was when we copied that first snippet back here. And you can see in the picture, that's where we added it. Um, usually when we're adding CSS, it's like, it's, it's on the page settings. So here, let's go down just below this. All right. And then you can see that I added a point on top now obviously that don't look right so what we would want to do again you can go to the full tutorial but i would want the drop down menu i'd want the background menu to match the color that i just made see and then it's a point now oh but i want the point to be centered sure you do um let's go back in here and you see where i say left 20 percent 50 percent should do it in fact you might you might find that technically 50 percent um, isn't quite the center or something, but for me, it's working out pretty good. All right. So I'm just going to go with that. So you can see that I have a point on top and it's centered. 
So that's how you would do that. And also don't forget to check out this other tutorial, the complete one on styling the sub menu. And it's, it's really complete. It has everything you need to know to customize and style the Divi sub menu. So I'm really happy with that. And that one's one of those where I kind of teach you, walk you along. I don't just give you the snippet, but I'm telling you how to actually learn to do it. So that's a really good one. You can really customize your sub menus. Be sure to check out our other videos on the sub menu or just the menu in general. Okay, so that's how you center the Divi sub menu. And like I said, I think that may be my 21st Divi menu tutorial. So we're just really pushing out um, the Divi menu tutorial. We're proud to be the only person that's doing anything on the menu module. Um, so that's really cool. And I'm really happy that so many of you are coming to our website and finding those resources that I'm providing for free. And I'll put a lot of time into this. So if you want to subscribe, you'll continue to get more. I even have more menu tutorials and a lot of other things coming. But yeah, there you go. That's what you'll get if you subscribe. So join the rest and we'll see you in the next video.